Hello everyone, this is Dr. Arthi Amin with Corona Foot and Ankle Group. Today I wanted to actually show you what diabetes can do to your lower extremity. So you can see here first on my patient, the discoloration of the lower leg. This darker pigmentation of the leg is called diabetic dermopathy. We don't know why it happens. Research does not know why it happens. We do know that it's not dangerous. However, it starts first looking like a bunch of red dots. Those red dots then become darker and larger and they become this dark discoloration. Also here, you can see on his toenails, they are darkened, thickened, and discolored. Diabetics, because of the compromised immune system due to diabetes, pick up fungal infections much faster than the general population. Of course, if you have fungal toenails, it does not mean you have diabetes. It's just when you're diabetic, it is easier to pick up on fungal toenails. You can also see on my patient, I've had to perform a partial toe amputation. That occurred because he developed a wound that very quickly developed into a bone infection. And the only way in this case to get rid of it, it was too late with antibiotics. I had to amputate part of the toe so the infection did not spread to the rest of the foot. He also, if you can appreciate right here, has this complete arch collapse. The foot is shaped differently than his right foot. This is called di uh, Charcot foot. Charcot basically means the uh, bones of his midfoot one day decided to completely collapse. So it turned into a rocker bottom foot. What is uh, the problem with that? Well, my patient also has diabetic neuropathy, which means the elevated blood sugars has caused damage to the nerves in the foot, thus he cannot feel. And that arch, when it collapsed, he kept walking on it, he developed a blister, and that turned into a chronic diabetic wound that you can see right here, into what we also call a diabetic foot ulcer. So the combination of the bones collapsing, the lack of sensation, patient keeps walking on it, does not know that a blister is forming, whereas you and I may feel the pain from a blister, you would stop obviously walking to see what's wrong, he kept going, and that actually caused the wound. So uh, if you were recently diagnosed with diabetes or have diabetes and you have not visited a podiatrist, please do so. At least an annual checkup to make sure we can prevent these problems is vital. If your foot ever swells up suddenly, it may not be gout that often gets undiagnosed. It could be stage one of Charcot and we can prevent arch collapse, but you've got to get over to see a podiatrist right away. Again, if you were recently diagnosed with diabetes or have diabetes, please come and see me. I would love to help you. Remember, your feet are your wheels. We keep you moving.